So we will discuss about the SLR1 parsing technique in this lecture. And uh, the SLR parsing technique is very much similar to the LR0 parsing technique with a few corrections in the uh, items that we have computed and the table that we are making for the LR0 parsing technique. So please refer to the uh, lectures of the LR0 parsing technique where we have uh, made the LR0 collection of the items. It means the canonical collection of LR0 items. So this was the grammar given to us. S produces A A. A produces small a capital A and A produces B. For this we have computed this uh, LR0 collection of the item, canonical collection of LR0 items. And for making the table or the LR0 parsing table, we were using this canonical collection of LR0 item. So what we used to do in the uh, in making this table, if you remember, that uh, we had the uh, rows and the columns in this table, and the number of the rows was actually equals to the number of states there in the canonical collection of LR0 items. We have the states 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 in this canonical collection of LR0 items. And similarly in this uh, table also we have some states 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are the actions and these are the go-to. In the action, we have the terminal symbols and in the go-to, we have the non-terminal or the variable symbols. Fine. <clears throat> now, uh, if you remember what we used to do uh, in making this table, if you are at any some st uh, at any state 0 and by accepting a terminal symbol we are reaching to a particular state then we write shift with the state number and for any non-terminal or the variable symbols we will be writing the number of the state fine so if you are reaching from zero state by taking a small a to the state number three we are writing is s3 but if you are going from zero state by taking a symbol to one state we will be writing here only one Okay, now <clears throat> for all the uh, states in which we have the final items, for example, this one, the one state, we have the final state. Final state means uh, where the dot appears at the last of the production. This also, the, this also is the final item in which uh, the dot is appearing at the last. This also is the final item in which the dot is appearing at the last. And this also is the final item where, is, where the dot is appearing at the last. So for these states what we are doing, for example, we have the state 5. So in this table, in the fifth, fifth row, we are writing the production number at every place of the terminal symbol. Fine. So this fifth, fifth state is uh, denoting us a production number of the fifth state is uh, for the production number 1 as produces capital A, capital A. So we will be writing reduce at every place in this table wherever the terminal symbols are appearing. So in the fifth row, we are writing R1, R1 and R1 for A, B and dollar which are the terminal symbols. Fine. Similarly for the state number 4, we were writing in the, in the, in the fourth row, we are writing R3, R3, R3 because this A produces B is the third production. Similarly, for this sixth item or the sixth state, A produces small a capital A dot. This actually is referring to the second uh, production in the grammar. So that's why we are writing R2 in sixth row. Fine. So this was that we were writing the reduction, reduction operation at every place in the terminal symbol. <clears throat> but what correction we will be making in the SLR1, we will be making some correction in the SLR1 and that is that we will not be writing this uh, uh, reduction blindly. We are not going to write the reductions blindly but we will be following some rules for writing the reductions. Fine. So what we are going to do, uh, the shift operations remain the same or the go to operations remain the same. Only, only problem or the only the only the correction will be there for the reduction items. Okay, so what we are going to follow, let's say we are writing the grammar again, 
and the grammar was s produces capital a capital a capital a produces small a capital a and capital a produces small b we first have to compute the follow of every symbol okay follow of every symbol so we have only the two symbols here capital s and capital a so you must be knowing that if we have uh, the uh, start symbol the dollar will always be there in the start symbol so there is a dollar has the follow in the s now see follow of a so we will have to find out where the follow is appearing as uh, on the right hand side so on the right hand side follow is appearing here here and here if you follow this uh, particular production s produces capital a capital a so follow of a will be equals to first of a fine and the first of a is what first of a is small a and a small b so first of a is equals to small a and a small b so obviously in the follow a we will have small a and a small b now according to this particular item that is capital a follow of a will be same as that of follow of s that means all the symbols that will be there in the follow of s those symbols will be there in the follow of a also so we know that in the follow of s we have dollar so dollar will also appear in the follow of a so these are the follow symbols that we have found so after computing this follow when we will be writing the uh, reductions in the in in the table in that case we will be writing reduction items only at the places of the follow fine just take an example again let's take this uh, uh, canonical collection of the items so it is already said that uh, we'll be writing or we will be making the table according to the lr0 items or we shall write it again or we will learn it again how it is actually done so we have the states 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 there are two categories in this uh, parsing table action and go to in the action we'll be writing all the terminal symbols those are a b and dollar and in the go to we'll be writing all the non terminal symbol those are s and a fine so making the for making the entries in this table look at the canonical collection of items so on 0 with capital s we are going to 1 on 0 on capital s we are going to 1 on 0 with capital a we are going to 2 on 0 on capital a we are going to 2 so on 0 with small a we are going to state number 3 so on 0 with small a we are going to three states so we'll be writing shift followed by the state number on 0 with small b we are going to 4 so we'll be writing shift with the state number 4 fine so 1 is actually uh, we'll be writing the 1 later so for the 2 we have from for from 2 with capital a we are going to 5 from 2 with capital a we are going to 5 from 2 with small a we are going to state number 3 so from 2 with small a we are going to state number 3 but we will be writing the shift 3 so from 2 with small b will be going to 4 so from 2 with small b we are going to 4 we'll be writing shift 4 so from two state we are done with all the activities or from all the transitions let's take with 3 so from 3 with capital a we are going to 6 from 3 with capital a we are going to 6 from 3 with small a we are remaining with the state number 3 itself so from 3 with small a we'll be writing as 3 from 3 with small b we are going to 4 so we will be writing as 4 here and then all the transitions from state number 3 is over from 4 there is no transition from 5 there is no transition from 6 there is no transition now for the final items state number 1 state number 5 state number 6 and state number 4 for state number 1 we know that uh, uh, this is the uh, this was the augmented grammar that we were we have taken 
which actually is telling us that uh, we have taken the start symbol also we have seen this start symbol also so after we have seen the start symbol obviously we will have to accept so on one if we have seen the uh, uh, start symbol obviously there will be a dollar after that so on one with dollar we will be saying we have accepted the string okay now for the state number five six and four let's take a state number five first fine or you can take the four, four also so let's take this fourth number so it is a produces b dot so we have the productions let's number these productions one two and three a produces b is the third production so we will be, we will be writing the reduce items in the sixth row and reduce three but reduce three at follow a so follow a symbols are a b and dollar so at every place in a b and dollar we will be writing r3 r3 and r3 fine so now four is over let's take five five is telling us s produces capital a capital a so capital a capital a s produces capital a capital a is the production number one so we will be writing follow sorry we will be writing r1 because this is production number one in five but at follow s position only okay so we'll be writing r1 because this is the production number one at follow s positions so follow s is only dollar so we'll be writing at only dollars place in the fifth row r1 in lr0 parsing table we will we were writing r1 at every place in this row but we are not writing it in the case of slr1 okay we are considering one look ahead and thus because of that we are using the concept of follow here for writing reduction items okay now for uh, this sorry this uh, r3 had to be written in this so i'm really sorry okay now uh, if for this uh, sixth <coughs> sixth state which is a produces small a capital a a produces small a capital a is the uh, state number 2 sorry uh, we will be writing uh, r2 because this is the second production at the place of follow a so follow a is small a small b and dollar so in the fifth row because this was the fifth state sorry this is the sixth state i'm sorry this is the sixth state in in sixth state at follow a it means small a small b and small uh, sorry dollar we will be writing r2 okay so this is the slr1 parsing table so at uh, uh, at every place uh, rather than writing the reduce reduction items at every place what we're doing here we are writing uh, the reduction items at the follow of the left hand side okay so we have we are taking one look ahead for uh, writing all these six that's why we have written under bracket one here in this parsing now we have some of the blank entries here in the table so blank entries are telling us these are the errors in case while parsing these blank and we encounter these blank entries we will say that these are the errors so this is this one this one this one this one so whenever we will be encountering these positions while parsing we will be saying that this is an error so every blank entry in the parsing table is telling us the error now about the strength of the lr0 and slr1 fine so slr1 is actually more powerful than lr0 why this is more powerful because uh, decision making power of uh, this slr1 is uh, better than that of the lr0 fine so this uh, slr1 is more powerful than the lr0 method of the parsing remains the same method of the parsing remains the same for lr0 and uh, slr1 let's uh, uh, take an example just to understand this let's say let's take the example that we have taken earlier that uh, we have the string small a small a small b small b and then at the end we have a dollar here okay now uh, let's make a table of item a stack and the action we have to take so we have we have the first symbol small a let's take this small a and on the stack we will be writing a zero symbol so 
on zero with a small a on zero with a small a we have to shift so shift action is s3 okay so we have this one on a small a okay or you can write it uh, in the next step zero on a small a three now in the next time you have, if you have seen this small a symbol you will now see this is small a symbol so you will be seeing 3a so 3 on a is s3 it means we have to shift fine so we have to shift this a and the rule by which we have shifted is 3 okay now this is b so now on 3 with b 3 with b is s4 so we have to push this symbol b on the stack 0a 3a 3b and then 4 next symbol is b so 4 on b 4 on b so 4 on b we will so on 4 with b on 4 with b we have to reduce by the third production so third production is a produces b so we have to remove these two items for one left right hand side symbol by the production number one so this will be replaced by the left hand side of the production that is capital a so 0 a 3 a 3 and capital a okay now 3 a 3 a is 6 so we will be writing 6 here then the symbol remains the same because we have not shifted that on the stack so 6 b 6 and b 6 b is r2 it means we have to reduce by production number 2 so 6 and b is r2 it means small a capital a small a capital a four items are replaced by the left hand side symbol that is capital a so we have reduced this and then 3a 3a is 6 okay now 6p 6b is again r2 so four symbols because uh, second uh, production is a produces small a capital a four symbols from the right hand side is removed and they are replaced by capital a now 0a is 2 fine symbol remains the same 2b so on 2 with a small b we are going to shift on the stack so 0a 2b and the rule is 4 so we have seen this b we have that b symbol has been shifted on the stack now we'll move to the dollar so now we have the dollar symbol 4 and dollar 4 and dollar is r3 r3 means we have to reduce by the production number 3 that is a produces b so two symbols from the right hand side or the top of the stack will be removed and that will be replaced by capital a so 0 a 2 and capital a and 2 capital a is 5 fine now we will see 5 and dollar so 5 and dollar is R1, R1 means the first production, S produces capital A, capital A, 4 symbols, 0, capital S because right, left, left hand side of the production is F, capital S, and then 0 capital S is 1, the dollar is the symbol that we are using, so 1 dollar one dollar is except so that means the string which is given to us is according to the grammar rules thank you